Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Oh. Murder. Who was the victim? Maggie. My wife. Why did you leave it so long? I've faced gunmen and maniacs. But dentists still scare the hell out of me. Don't worry, we'll soon have it fixed. Open wide now. Nice and white. That's it. In the house, Jean? Oh, ha, ha. Oh, that's nice. Come on, don't be such a coward, Jim. I'm not going to kill you. I live to tell the tale. So join me, Tiger on Wednesday the 9th of September at 9 o'clock for funeral rites. It's pure murder. In fact, Taggart hits your screens next week on Wednesday the 9th of September at 9. Meanwhile, tonight we celebrate 30 years of Scottish television with a nostalgic look over those last 30 years. So let's sit back and relax and see how it all began on the 31st of August, 1957. Later tonight, at 10.30 to be exact, I shall be giving the first national news bulletin from these studios here in Glasgow. But meanwhile, of course, the local news is that 40 minutes ago, Scottish television came on the air for the first time and an approximate one million expectant viewers were added to the independent television network. We're all ready, so let's go! There's a change in this area, Francie. You know the whole of Cook Gardens was demoralized just to build the new STV. In August 1957, in a run-down part of Glasgow called Cowcaddens, an unlikely group of people got together in an old Victorian theatre to start Scotland's first commercial television station. Their leader, a Canadian tycoon called Roy Thompson. He brought a great new thing to Glasgow. I mean, Glasgow, there was nothing. There was the Empress Theatre, there was a pavilion, and there was a, a few ratty holes around here and there, and there was Sucking Hall Street and a few dance halls, and nothing much else. And suddenly, boom, this man comes along and brings Purdy and, and one or two others, and, and the whole thing explodes. It really was Hollywood in those days. We're talking about the late 50s, early 60s. It was magic. The million Scots viewing ITV for the first time twirled knobs on sets with small screens and poor pictures. The 1957 set offered ten channels, but eight of them were useless. Is that it? No. I can't stand here all night. Channel 3 already gave you BBC, but new viewers switched to the new commercial service, Scottish Television on Channel 10.